Today's Good People, Good Works will be presented in Dari and English with subtitles in Arabic, Alsace or Vietnamese, Chinese, English, French, German, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Mali, Mongolian, Persian, Portuguese, Russian, Spanish and Thai. سلام بینندگان گرامی به برنامه دیگر از افراد خوب اعمال خوب در سوپر مستر تلویزیون خوش آمدید سحنه را تصور کنید که در آن کسب و کار در خیابان اصلی شهر رانق دارد مردم همدیگر را می بینند و با در آغوش کشیدن یکدیگر به هم سلام می دهند و اطفال شادمانه به مکتب می روند این روند معمول در بامیان می باشد که یک از ولایت های امن و پاکزه افغانستان است رهبری خردمندانه و تلاش های والی این ولایت محترمه دکتر حبیب سرابی که اولین و تنها والی زن در تاریخ افغانستان است سهم بزرگی در این شیوه مطلوب زندگی دارد امروز ما افتخار داریم تا مصاحبه خش با دکتر سرابی را به نشر برسانیم که در آن وی نظر خود را در مورد اهداف و آرمان هایش برای یک افغانستان مسالمت آمیزتر و زیست محیطی تر بیان می کنه. My name is Habiba Sarabi. Uh, I am the governor of uh, Bamiyan province. I train as a pharmacist. My background is medical, but uh, I'm involved with the politics due to my uh, commitment for the people of Afghanistan. Dr. Sarabi, in 1956, in Mazar Sharif, in the Shamal of Afghanistan, در یک خانواده از قوم هزاره به دنیا آمد و در فاکلته تپ تخصص خونشناسی گرفت بعد از فارغ و تحصیلی یک کمک هزینه تحصیلی از سازمان صحت جهانی دریافت نمود و برای تحصیلات بیشتر به هندستان رفت در سال 1996 زمانی که دولت طالبان در افغانستان به قدرت رسید وی با اطفالش افغانستان را ترک کرد و به پشاور پاکستان رفت وقت رژیم طالبان به پایان رسید دکتر سرابی به وطنش بازگشت و خود را وقت سیاست نمود و در دولت رئیس جمهور محترم حامد کرزی به عنوان وزیر امور زنان و وزیر تعلیم و فرهنگ منصوب کردید. دکتر سرابی که قبلا از ولایت بامیان دیدن کرده بود بسیار تحت تاثیر آن منطقه و مردمش قرار گرفته بود و از سمیم قلب میخواست که به ساکنین آنجا کمک کند تا زندگی جدیدتری داشته باشد. وی در سال 2005 توسط رئیس جمهور کرزی به عنوان والی بامیان منصوب شد. I requested from president if I can go there in Bamiyan and work uh, and help the people and um, of course it was difficult at the beginning uh, but uh, he accepted and I went there and uh, um, when I saw everything over there the environment the, heritage site and everything, I thought it's better to have a plan. Without plan, we cannot do anything. So I started to make a plan uh, with UNESCO, uh, the cultural master plan for Bamiyan. I worked with the uh, uh, Ministry of Urban Development to make the city plan for Bamiyan. And after that, the management plan for the cultural master plan was another issue that with the support of UNESCO, we did. شهر خوشمنظر بامیان که مرکز ولایت بامیان می باشد در یک دره کوهستانی دور افتاده واقع شده است راهی ابریشم باستانی از این مکان می گذرد و در این منطقه مجسمه های 1500 ساله بوده های بامیان وجود داشتند این شهر در حدود 240 کیلومتری شمال غربی پایتخت افغانستان کابل واقع گردید است تحت رهبری دکتر سرابی ساختار بنیادی لازم در منطقه ایجاد کردیده و به نیازمندی های اجتماعی مختلفی رسیدگی شده است. I appointed in 2005 and now it's uh, the sixth years that I'm working there. There are a lot of changes in Bamiyan. Um, for example, uh, the big change that we have, there was no asphalt road in Bamiyan. Before. So we have big changes, the asphalt road. You can see the asphalt road inside the city and also our national park and also Bamiyan will be connected very soon to the Kabul by asphalt road. This is the biggest change. Of course, at the moment we have the 
city master plan and the new town is growing up and our education system is set up and uh, uh, we have uh, some uh, uh, 320 schools and uh, uh, with this tw uh, 320 schools, uh, 100 uh, 19,000 students are studying and out of this 119,000 uh, students, 43% of them are girls. We have one provincial hospital, we have three district hospital, we have more than 65 health facility. So I have made uh, my hundreds of kilometer road in Bamiyan province. These are the uh, biggest change that uh, I was able to bring in Bamiyan. در سرابیت مصمم است تا محیط زیست و غنای طبیعی منطقه را برای نسل های جدید افغانی حفظ نماید اقدامات با کمک چندین سازمان غیر دولتی برای تبدیلی شهر بامیان به الگوی زیست محیطی در افغانستان انجام می دهد. The landscape of Bamiyan is unique, something very beautiful and the nature of Bamiyan is very beautiful. So we as human being, uh, we should keep it, we should uh, protect it. Uh, uh, so there were some organization um, involved with the environment. So I thought that it's better to encourage this organization to work with us. So I supported them and they were very happy. And of course, this support uh, uh, make us stronger. And some of the organization used to do some vegetation, especially the watershed program. Now we have plenty of watershed program around Bamiyan to have more trees, more green area. Bamiyan Valley has the nice and beautiful landscape. Bamiyan is on the uh, list of World Heritage Site and its sites are uh, included to this uh, list. I made the ecotourism program in Bamiyan. This ecotourism program is running very well and uh, the ecotourism program established two times this year and last year the uh, um, Silk Road Festival. And thousands of people uh, came and visited and enjoyed, participated with the uh, Silk Road Festival. When the American has a very good idea of the Firuz Arang Tashkil Shudas, the Rabbash Gerbi will be able to do it. We have a very touristy Mohim. می باشد. در سال 2008 با همکاری آژانس توسعه بین الملل آمریکا و جامعه حفاظت از حیات وحش دولت افغانستان بند امیر را اولین پارک ملی افغانستان اعلام کرد. During the 60s there was a plan to uh, to announce by uh, Bande Amir or the lakes as a national park, but it didn't happen. Uh, and uh, uh, 2008, uh, I was able, with the support of international community and some other organization, to announce uh, Bande Amir uh, as the first national park in Afghanistan. The Dr. Sarabin is the head of ecology of Bande Amir, the head of the تحسین شده است او به عنوان یک از قهرمانان محیط زیست 2008 توسط مجله خبری و معتبر تایم امریکا نامیده شده است The first time when I went there with my family and nephew and he was young very uh, young about uh, six, seven years old when I saw the, all the rubbish around the lakes I became very sad and started to clean and uh, there were some young boys Mm, but they were watching me and I uh, t uh, talked with them that it's a shame that if you just watch and we have the responsibility to, to clean our environment. And after that I thought that Bamiyan is very clean and it's my responsibility as a governor of responsible person for the province uh, shouldn't allow to damage this clean environment. So I announced for the municipality, uh, for the mayor and Department of Environment to announce for the public and also to the market that uh, collect all the plastic, especially the black plastic, and that uh, don't, don't allow them. This is another interesting thing that I encourage always the youth and some uh, uh, volunteer organization to, to do campaign for environment. 
دکتر سرابی حتی برای ترویج حفاظت از محیط زیست سفرهای بین المللی نیز داشته است. And uh, we did with some other uh, uh, women from different country, a lady uh, from Thailand, the other one from Caribbean. The name of the campaign was Women and Environment. Women role and environment. So we did a good campaign in uh, United States and Washington, and uh, we had so many meetings with the decision making people, and even with the uh, Hillary Clinton, we had the meeting, and uh, asked them to care about the environment and bring uh, environment as a, a, a global strategy. بانوان اولین و تنها باله زن در تاریخ افغانستان دکتر سرابی حقیقتا یک الگوی قدرتمند برای زنان افغانی در یک جامعه مرد سالار می باشد افغان ومن گات ا لوت اف تینگز سنس 2001 ون اف دی تینگز دت افغان ومن گات از دی پولیتیکل رایتس فور اگزامپل ان Afghanistan, we have a quota for 26% of women can attend the parliament. This is something, I think, uh, quite unique in, in the region. So uh, for uh, women, the rights for education, rights for health service, these are the things that Afghan women are getting uh, gradually. And uh, uh, women to be in the public, women on the decision-making body, these are the positive uh, things that افغان ومن گیتنگ سنس 2001 دکتر حبیب سرابی اعتقاد دارد که رهبری واقعی در نظر گرفتن نظرات مردم و داشتن یک دولت آزاد را شامل می شود I was able to continue to establish all the peace in Bamiyan because uh, I built up um, a trust uh, between the people and the local government and uh, uh, I shared everything with the people and uh, so uh, people they should know about everything that uh, going on in Bamiyan. So uh, that's why uh, uh, when we share everything with the people and take advice or get some feedback from the people there will be Uh, trust building between the community and also the local government. If we can build uh, uh, this trust, sustainable peace everywhere in Afghanistan too. I'm praying to uh, have prosperity and peace in Afghanistan. ما محترمه دکتر حبیب سرابی را به خاطر تعهد مصمم و فداکارانه ایشان برای ایجاد یک محیط زیست پاکتر و افزایش رفاه اجتماعی در ولایت بامیان محترم میشماریم امید است که خداوند برای همیشه افغانستان را ثبات و سعادت و برکت دهد از همراهی شما در برنامه امروز افراد خوب اعمال خوب متشکرم امید است که عشق الهی بر هر گوشه سیاره ما Beethoven. Thank you for joining us today on Good People, Good Works. May divine love shine in all corners of our planet. For more details, please see www.suprememastertv.com forward slash GPGW.